Is honesty always the best policy? Yeah. And just like that star, Kristen Davis, she's now opening up to The Telegraph about how she's been ridiculed relentlessly for getting face fillers. She says, guess what? Nobody told me I didn't look good. <laughs> okay, Priyanka, would you tell a friend, hey, girl, face not, not right right now, so oh. get that fixed. Oh, yes, I would. You would. I mean, if you're friends with Lainey, she is the most honest person ever. So I just know to like follow in her footsteps. Because she would tell me if I got bad work done. So I would have to tell everyone else. I feel like, yeah, I always do. I feel like it depends on the injector that you get. Because sometimes you get a bad injector that. where they don't know your face. So they start making you look like... Something, something else. Something else. <laughs> something, something else. A little something, something. And, you know, it might make you look a little bit cuckoo bananas. But yes. if you get someone, like my injector, her name is Marg, love her. She, you can't even tell I got anything done, baby. Yeah, it's so natural. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm like, I looked at the monitor, I'm wearing a wig, full face of ma makeup, but underneath it all. <laughs> There don't you think, I mean, I don't know how long ago you started doing it. I'm not going to, you know, force you to do that. Right divulge. after I won Drag Race. Okay, I well, there like, it is. I got a little bit of money, time to get touched by an angel girl. <laughs> <laughs> but that was kind of where I went that there is a learning curve when yeah. you start doing that stuff, if you choose to do it. I started doing Botox just before I got married, and I'm celebrating 15 years this September. Of Botox. So. Botox. <laughs> and I, of Botox. <laughs> not my wedding. Um, but then fillers is a different game, because it can change your face. Yeah. And the first time I chose to get fillers, I chose to get my lips done. Oh. And, and you know, I, I did it. I thought it looked cute, right? I is this, cute. Is this after Wait, you is got this them new done? Lips? This is after I got them done. Okay. Okay. Okay, you look uh, don't perfect. I, I'm cute, right? I thought, I'm cute, right? I, I thought, <laughs> okay, I thought I looked cute. Turns out, I was hosting a Toronto morning show at the time. Uh -huh. I got them done. I went to work on the Monday. No. Feeling good. The Feeling great. Okay. <laughs> The viewers no. revolted. <gasps> what did you do to your face? You look like a clown. You should go get your money back. What are you doing? Like, I got it bad to the point that I was A, full-blown tears. Aww. And then I went straight back to my injector and said, dissolve it all. And I got rid of all my lips. Looking back, do you think that, okay, so do you think that Whoa. you would have done that if, if no one had said anything, you would have been fine with the way, you were happy with the way you looked? I thought I looked cute. You know what? I will say that I thought it looked cute. My boyfriend was like, tell me I'm cute last night. I get it. Um, I, there's something about getting your lips done when they're so swollen for the first time. You're like, oh, I'm just so cool. <laughs> and like that feeling is a lot of people get addicted to that feeling. I do also say that there is a lot of people there that are scared to talk out loud about getting injectables. I feel like they make a lot of people feel beautiful. So I'm like, why not? I think a lot of viewers that may have saw you were, were like, Oh no! This this can't be right. We're told those things are bad. I don't know. Like, I don't think they no, look bad. No, no, no. But there are. I mean, I I'm, I'll just admit it. I've walked around certain streets in the city, and I've thought to myself, like, whoa! Like everyone has the same face. Like, what is happening mm. here? Mm -hmm. And it starts to be. Sometimes it's a bit alarming, and sometimes I'm just being honest. I've had the thought inside my head walking down the street, like, you need a friend who can tell you that you do not look. Enough. You're not starting to look not human anymore. <laughs> and I'm just listen. One time when I got Botox done. <laughs> Jason, my partner, said to me, did you get something? I didn't tell him, okay? Oh, so I didn't tell you him. You and my mom are the same person. I didn't get it done. And then he was looking at me and he goes, did you do something to your face? And I said, maybe. And he goes, you look like Spock. No! Oh. What? But you know what? I needed a friend. I needed someone to tell me that the injection wasn't right. So I think if you're good friends and you care about the person, you should talk. We've talked. We've, We've talked. talked. We've had conversations. We've had conversations, on the conversations show. with Mel. Mel what what Lainey, are the conversations? Lainey and I decided one day we were backstage, and Mel was like, "I'm gonna go and get my lips done." This is way after this. Because it wears away, and it, it had been at away. least a year. And I was like, yeah. "Guys, I'm like, due for my lips. Yeah, it's like it's a touch time. up. I need yeah. a touch up." So what did like, we say? We were like, "No, it's not. <laughs> like, we can still see it." And she's like, "No, no, it's all gone. It's all gone. I need a refill." And we're like, "You don't need to refill yet, girl. Like, you're they're looking good." She was like, "No, no, I'm going." And both Cynthia and I were backstage. We were laughing. It was an open conversation. It was, it was great. Yes. And she she thought we were wrong and we thought we were right. And what happened? So I went to my girl, because you're right, you have to find the right injector. I went to my girl and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so, I'm so overdue. And she looked at me and she goes, no, you're not, you're fine. <laughs> no. And I literally, like, I'm sorry, you're saying no? 
did you just say no to me? And, and she refused to do it, which is the other part of the relationship yes. with a good injector who tells you, stop, wait, you're not looking yeah. natural anymore. And, I, and people do it for different reasons. That face that you're talking about, LA face, some women want to look unnatural. I do not mm -hmm. want to look unnatural. I just want to look... Uh, touched like by I, an angel. Hey, touched by an angel. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank I get you. that. You've been but touched by an to angel. Cynthia's point, what we're talking about is like, I know how you want to look and you look great, but do you trust your eyes? Because <laughs> Cynthia and I both told you, you don't need to I go know. get your lips done. And then you still went and then your injector was like, no, you don't need to get your lips done. <laughs> okay, so fair. Do you trust I, your eyes? I trust you both. Yay! <laughs> baby, if you asked me, I would have said, fill her up. I'm yeah. in, baby. Let's go. Okay. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.